All right, guys, welcome back to the Horfini YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about how to keep a long and strong relationship. Yes, so we're going to walk you through what we've done and what's worked for us and what we learned from our mentors. So one of those things is to have a daily ritual connection. Very often couples get so busy in the daily, you know, ups and downs of lives from work, family, kids, career, doing this, doing that. And they forget to make each other a priority or to even have a daily connection. So something very simple that we do is when she gets home from like doing business and I'm home doing business or whatever, we have a daily connection. So my wife's love language is physical touch. And so when we get home, she always wants to like, come here, hug me, just hug me for a second, right? <laughs> so we'll literally like hug it out for a couple minutes and she'll just come on the chair, bring her legs over here and we'll just cuddle and we'll just, you know, for a while. And like that's our daily connection. And that doesn't have to be your daily connection. It could be something else. It could be having just an eye to eye conversation with quality time, with no distractions, putting your phones and social media away. It could be uh, our mentors, they take a walk in their garden, in their home. So it could be whatever it works for you. But the most important thing is to have a daily connection with your partner. Yeah, maybe taking a walk around um, the block. Oh, yeah. Another thing is like every day in the morning, when she usually gets up before I do, so she'll give me a kiss before we get our day started. Um, and if I get, happen to get up first, I'll give her a kiss when I get my day started. So little things like that that make a big difference, you know, and contribute to a long and healthy relationship. Yeah, another one is texting. texting. Like, again, like I'll be up and leave earlier and then he'll get up and say, oh, good morning, babe. Like, that I'm like, that makes me like, oh, you're thinking about me. Okay, cool. You know, so it's just stuff yeah. like that. Sometimes we don't get to see each other yeah. because mm -hmm. our schedules are opposite or whatever. And he'll just text me or call me like, oh, like, how's your day going? Or whatever. You know, it's just making the little effort of just kind of catching up. Like, what are you up to? This is what I'm up to. Like, okay. And then that's it. Like, sometimes it's just, just hearing about each other. Yeah. So sometimes, like, I tend to drive a lot to my different projects. So we'll just call each other, like if it's been, you know, hours since we haven't talked, we're like, hey, what's up? What are you up to? Oh, how's your day going? How was this? How was that? And everything. And then the next thing is a weekly connection and ritual as well. So no matter what, once a week, minimum, we have a date night where it's just us, no phone. Sometimes it could be a candlelit dinner. We'll go watch a movie, go to a concert, go to a comedy show, uh, whatever it is. But it's so we tend to have more much more than one usually anywhere from one to four dates a week but the practice the ritual is to have one date minimum with your partner no matter what even if you have kids you have to find a way to make each other a priority and spend quality time with each other yeah and that we picked up from not only our mentors but for whatever reason like i love like older people and just talking to them and asking them and for like across the board i used to do this before and then we kind of started doing it together just asking people like what's the secret to being married 60 mm -hmm. 70 yeah. years and number one and like it's just across the board has been never stop dating never stop you know making you guys like a thing you know because at the beginning it's easy because you're trying to impress each other and then you just kind of fall into the pattern and just regular everyday life and just you know having things to do and just you know the kids and school and work and food and and the house and so just kind of just centering again and just going out on dates and just you know making that time kind of like sacred no fighting no whining no complaining like you like you you like no one wants to go out on a date with someone like that so just making it like you know what if you got issues going on that's not the priority right now like you know let's just be with each other and spend quality time so we learn that from older couples that we meet randomly and we'll ask mm -hmm. them so that's why that's big for us and the next one is a quarterly connection so like recently we went to Laguna Beach we rented a hotel for two days and we just got out of the house and mm -hmm. it, it worked out great we got to hang out in the beach go out to eat and just have like a little time for us away from our home and just you know just change it up yeah so that one i love that one yeah um it's just like it, again it doesn't uh it doesn't have to be like going across you know the country or another state we literally went a couple cities down yeah and it's just changing the environment like oh we're a little vacation and mm -hmm. you know whatever way shape or form like whether you guys go camping whatever whatever it may be just change it up and then change the scenery it changes the vibe and 
and it's really good to just do and reconnect. And then the last one and a very important one as well is the yearly connection and like regrouping. So what we do is we will make a vision board or update our vision board with like, all right, you know, 2017 was great. Now it's 2018 or, you know, when 2018 is over, we'll do it for 2019 again and focus on visualize and strategize all the goals in every aspect of our life from our health, our relationship, our finances and our business and family adventure, everything that we want to create that following year. We do it in advance by putting it in paper. And you know it's been a proven, uh, proven fact that when you actually write something down, you're more likely to accomplish it than if you just think about it. Mm -hmm. So even if you type it in your phone, it's not as powerful as physically getting a pen or pencil and writing it on something. And so that's what we do with our vision board. Yeah, and we've talked about our vision, you know, how important it is for a relationship to have a vision, to know where it's going, to have like a little map of, you know, what's the end goal. But this is, um, I think also one of my favorites because you get clear as to what you want. And again, not being in the everyday grind because like if you were just tired after work and after, you know, cooking, cleaning and the kids and, you know, all everything that comes with it, you know, trying to like oh let's sit down and build something it's like i'm exhausted like i'm trying to take a nap or you know do something else but when you go away and just like really just kind of immerse yourself with each other and going back to you know just being with one another and just kind of letting go of everything else and are you able to sit down and more clearly and more with an inspired brain kind of refuel like you're able to plan it efficiently and really see it as opposed to just you know from tired brain to trying to make something happen. Yeah, and sometimes you get so caught up in the daily ritual again that you forget to work on your vision, mm -hmm. on your goals, your aspirations. So it's good to like get away, you know, and it could be different. You could maybe just drive a couple hours and stay at a hotel for two or three days and that can make a big difference again, getting out, changing the environment. So like earlier this year, we went to Cancun, Mexico Tulum. and Tulum uh, and it was so amazing right yeah. beaches awesome vibe awesome people great food and yeah so that was our, our yearly connection so so we have the daily the weekly the quarterly and the yearly and we highly encourage you guys to implement this into implement this into your relationship such that you will continue to grow develop and go to the next level together yeah and with the yearly um, something that also that we love is giving our household or our family like for what are the the they call the vision word not the vision words the 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 themes of your your family or for your relationship yeah like for for it all so like you know being the examples of it like what four things are going to mm -hmm. represent mm -hmm. the themes of our our household so you know it could be responsibility you know it can be uh, tranquility tranquility it can be inspiration whatever the, the three common like themes for your household that way everyone knows and explaining that to your kids getting your kids involved like being like okay so one of the theme words for our family is responsibility mm -hmm. but with that we're going to give you responsibility we're going to give you freedom but you also have to know that there's responsibility with it you know what i mean so it's just getting everyone on board and everyone involved is just it's it's awesome so that's it guys, comment below if there are any other ones that you guys can think of. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn the notifications on. Otherwise, you won't be notified every time we upload a video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.